In this lesson, we will discuss bubble plots, and this is the last topic of this lesson. Before going to start, I highly recommend you that please watch the videos pie charts, box plots, and scatter plots because all these videos are linked to each other. At least you have to watch pie charts in which I have mentioned how to import pandas, matplotlib, and numpy. Right, so here I have written some information about the bubble plots. I will explain to you as we have discussed in the scatter plot that we need two coordinates x and y. But in case of bubble plots, we need the third coordinate that is called the z coordinate. The data points are replaced with bubbles. In a scatter plot, we had data points, but in the case of bubble plots, we will see that we will have bubbles, and the size of the bubbles is determined by the third variable that is the z coordinate, also known as the weight. In matplotlib, we can pass in an array or a scalar to the keyword s to plot. Right, when we will make the weight of these bubbles, we will use S. I will show you how to do it with the help of few examples. That contains the weight of each point. So here I have written, let's start by analyzing the immigration pattern of Argentina and Brazil. Keep in mind that still we are using the same data file, Excel file, which consists of 20, uh, 2000. 1980 to 2013 immigration pattern from different countries to Canada. So our first step is get the data for Brazil and Argentina, right? So here I have written that my data frame name is now df underscore ab. What is ab is for Argentina and Brazil, but whatever name you can pick for your data frame. And this Canada underscore immigration, if you remember when we had started this course, I used this my data frame name. So still we are using the same. So when I will run this code, right, you will see here that our country's column is considered as an, an index. And these are our columns. That is why I have written transpose and transpose we have discussed so many times. Again, I am going to show you here. So now we have to take the transpose, right? When we will take the transpose, what will happen and what is the coding of transpose? Same, exact same thing you have to write down, but you have to write down dot transpose as well. Now I, when I will run, run my this data frame, you will see the country is also considered as a column. Right. So here now we are going to change the data type of the index column. Right. Initially, we want to check what is the data type. So df underscore ab our data frame name dot index. It will show you the data type of our index and see all the all these uh, years are in quotation. It means this is a string. So we want to convert this string into an integer. So here I have written all these coding in one cell only to show you that you can write all your coding in one cell as well instead of writing in different cells. So first one as we did as I have showed just a minute ago that dot transpose I, I have written here and now we are going to change the data type for data type you have to use the map function in parenthesis you have to write down two parameters first you have to write down in which data type you are going to change I said int do not write down integer complete only int comma data frame name and the index and the third is whatever you want give name to your index column I said year and then here I have I said reset underscore index in place is equal to true means it will permanently permanently set in your data frame and then we can check df underscore ab if you want one by one you can write down this in one cell and then run this they write down in the second cell this coding and run this and you will see the effect here I will show you the comment as well when I will run it so you will see all these changes happen to our data frame now this is our 0123 index these are the years and these are the all the countries are considered as a column now right now step number two this is one of the most important step when we make our bubble chart so 
create the normalized weight what is the meaning of this normalized weight sometimes see suppose we have um, one thing in which we measure in centimeter other thing we measure in feet other thing we measure in pounds so if we have mix and match we cannot make any conclusion right all the scale should be same so that is called the normalized so there are several methods of normalizations in a statistics each with its own use right you can pick whatever method you want for normalization according to your scenario here we are using the feature scaling if you want you can go and watch the videos of statistics but feature scaling i will show you bring bring all the values into the range between 0 and 1 i am not saying 0 and 1 between maybe one value will be 0 0.73 other will be 0 0.84 but between 0 to 1 and the journal formula is this is the formula how it works x dash is equal to x minus x minimum divided by x maximum minus x minimum and it will give you the answer between 0 to 1 right now what is x x is the original value this one x dash is the normalized value if you want to calculate the normalized value by using the feature scaling suppose we have 10 uh, 10 different numbers some uh, data set which consists of 10 numbers so what is the first number you have to write down here x minus x minimum what is the lowest value of that data set you have to write down here divided by the maximum value of data set minus minimum value of data set try it it will give you the answer between 0 to 1 and then see this 3 will remains the same because we will put same minimum value of our data set maximum value and only x will change because first you have to pick the first value second value and third value this is the feature scaling so same formula I, ha I have applied here normalization for Brazil normalization for Argentina because we are considering these two when you understand this concept you can apply the same for three or four or five countries right you can practice it like this so I have made this variable norm instead of normalization norm underscore Brazil norm underscore Argentina right you have to keep these in mind because we will use these in our coding so is equal to this is x df our data frame name underscore ab Brazil this is our x minus this is the minimum value x minimum right dot minimum divided by everything is same here is maximum and then divided by minimum same formula you have to use for use for Argentina normal underscore Argentina so see here this and minimum maximum and so on so I will show you when you will practice so you will see easily then you have to execute it this is our second step we did normalize right okay now third point is which is one of the most most important uh, important point plot the data to plot two different scatter plots in one plot right just like we did line plot a scatter plot in one plot there were two lines of different countries and we were we can compare easily same thing if you want to make two bubble plots in one plot so you have to pass ax parameter right now where we use how we use i will show you in this coding but keep in mind if you have to show two bubble charts in one graph then you have to use ax parameter if you will not use ax parameter then you cannot make two bubble charts in one one plot there will be two different bubble graph we will also pass in weights using the s parameter right for the third parameter we will use s and after s we will use whatever variable we have set here norm underscore brazil or norm underscore argentina i will show you and given that the normalization value is so small between 0 to 1 so it is it will be difficult for us to see the bubble that is why i said we will multiply by 1000 to scale it up on the graph and add 10 to compensate for the minimum value but it is not the rule that always you have to multiply by 1000 it's up to you you can multiply by 1200 2000 1000 whatever but here i have mentioned that we are going to multiply by 1000 so see what i said here ax we have to use 
S we have to use and multiply by 1000. I will show you how to make the coding. Now your coding will be too easy. First is Brazil. So AX0, AX1, right? And if you have sec third country, fourth country, you can write down AX2, AX3 and so on. So here you have to write down your data frame name, dot plot. One by one, I will show you what is the meaning of this. Kind is equal to, is equal to scatter because this is this is a little bit advanced to scatter that is why we need the third parameter so x we need year on x axis on y we need brazil figure size is 10 by 6 you can change it try to 12 by 2 or whatever you want this is alpha alpha is the transparency means light color or dark color here again this is your homework you can check make it 0 0.7 1 0 0.3 0 0.2 color whatever color you want this is the third parameter third coordinate s after s you have to write down norm underscore brazil whatever we did in our upper cell multiply by 1000 as i said plus 10 right this is our this will give us the weight of our bubble if the bubble size will be big it means more people were migrated from brazil on that particular year if the bubble size is small it means lower people were migrated from brazil to canada on that particular year and then x limb what is the meaning of this i will run the code then i will show you right keep in mind x limb is 75 1975 to 2015 okay now is the second for Argentina, everything is the same. Here I said the color I need blue and this is my transparency and this is the X. AX is equal to AX0. As I said, if you want to see both graph in the same graph, then you have to use AX parameter. This will be your job after this lesson. You have to make this comment and try it. You will not get two graph on the same graph. There will be two different graph, right? If you want your output should be on the same graph then you can compare easily then you have to use ax parameter which i have mentioned in my in my text and these are all the labels x label y label and legend and for legend font size is large if you want you can make it a small medium whatever you want where you want to set your legend i said on the left corner you can make it center or right or bottom wherever you want and this is our artist layer because i have used set underscore when we use this ax parameter we have to use the artist layer so now i am going to run this and you will see a nice bubble plot green is the brazil and blue is the argentina and you will see here easily you can predict so see this one here more people were coming then it's declining trend is like this and here is the spike right and here is the spike of brazil more people were migrated so you can see in which country 2010 to onwards and what is the x limb was i have mentioned 1975 2015 now you can make it 19 in x limb 1970 make it 2020 so you can see your this will be adjusted according to your x limb right here i will show you what is where is the x limb this one now this is your homework change this make the transparency different make the color different multiply by different numbers right and try it in this way you will learn more right one thing i will show you that here we have this line when the output we have this line if you do not want this line to be printed here then what you have to do okay i will show you in the next coding see the size okay here it should be the size okay make it uh, the size of the bubble corresponds to the magnitude of immigrating population for that year. Whatever I said, I have written here. Right now, what you have to do, please pause this video because I have written same question. You have to compare with Pol Poland and Pakistan. Right. Then after that, you can watch my videos, tally your coding. In this way, you will learn more. So first is you have to normalize everything here i said norm underscore poland whatever we did with brazil and norm underscore pakistan same formula this is x minus 
write minimum value here is the maximum value divided by and minimum value first you have to normalize in order to make the bubble plot and execute it this is one of the most most important and i showed you that we had one line when we made uh, that that graph upper graph right because i did not mention at the time plt dot show if you will write down plt dot show everything is same here here i have multiplied by 2000 right so when i will execute it you will see the output and we do not have that line right here this line which line i am talking about this one because here i did not mention plt dot show if you want that this line should not print then you have to use only plt dot show function here my colors are different and you can see a nice this one and this one easily you can compare right so i hope the bubble chart is clear to you please practice it see you in the next lesson and thank you